Hi guys, welcome to RNL Homestead. Today I'm going to be building a nesting box stand for my chickens, and we're also going to be putting the goats out in three strands of hot wire today to start training them to stay in it. But first, we gotta get chores done, so let's go knock those out. Alrighty guys, so now that I got everybody fed, except these guys, I'm gonna go down to the hay barn, grab some of our blue post, and get them a paddock set up. Alrighty guys, so we got our post, and I'm just gonna be setting them up in this little area here where there's some multi-floor rows. There's um, some other stuff. There's some blackberry leaves in here. So there's kind of just a good mixture of stuff in this little area, and it's still close by the camper and stuff. So I'm gonna work on getting all of our post up, and um, then I'll go grab a reel and start getting it ready. That way we can put the goats out here. Alrighty guys, so as you can kind of see behind me, we got all the posts up. So now I'm going to go up and grab a reel. That way we can reel all this up. And hopefully... Um, I don't have to do too much clearing in here because I will have to get some of this stuff um, out from where the fence is going to be going. So, I'm going to go warm up real quick and then I'm going to grab a reel and start reeling all this up. Alrighty guys, so we got our reel. Um, I'm going to take it around three times that way we can get this done because the goats are starting to cry a little bit more so they're hungry. So I need to hurry get this done, that way they can start eating. Alrighty guys, so you can maybe see we got three strands all up. Um, I'm just walking around it, making sure there's, like, no sticks like this. Just making sure there are no sticks on it. Uh, making sure everything's tight. That way, we don't have to worry about the goats immediately getting out. So, it looks like it's all good. I'm going to take this post and just put some extra support right here, so... Since right here is a little saggy, I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's a little sagged right here. So I'm going to get in here, put this here just to make sure everything is tight and nothing grounds out too much and all that. 
so there yeah much better so yeah you can see we got it all three up nothing's touching the bottom wire move these sticks out There, I'll only move this. But yeah, looks like we're ready for goats. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring them over. They won't need to be energized quite yet. I still have some time because they're probably just gonna start uh, eating on all that. So I'm gonna set y'all down, go grab the goats and get them over here and hopefully they enjoy it. All right, we got them put over, super easy. You can see. They are already going to town on that. Multiflora rose. Now both dogs are barking. But now I'm going to get one of our Premier One Solar Energizers. Um, that way it will give it enough shock. And we're going to be out here. And I mean, this is a big enough area where there's enough stuff in it. They should eat. They'll eat on them. Um, but yeah. Looks like they're happy. They did good walking over here. So I'm gonna go get them some water. Gotta get them their solar energizer and they'll be good to go. All right, so you can see these guys haven't even tried to look around, see what else is in here. They're just going to town on that. Um, and it could be cause they waited a little bit longer to eat today. Um, but yeah, let's get them watered and then I'm gonna grab a solar energizer for them oh. Alrighty guys, so we got our Premier One energizer uh, Right here you can see it's hooked on everything's ready. So we're just gonna click that And somewhere, I guess maybe this is the cord that grounds out. We'll have to fix that real quick. All right, let's try that again. We got all of our wire off the ground. And because that sound that y'all were hearing was the cord right here grounding out. Um, uh, cause it's like caught or messed up, so. Let's try it again and hopefully it works. There we go. That's what we wanted to hear. And you can see before it was flashing red, green. Now it is flashing just green, which means the battery is fully charged. Red, green, half charged, red, dead. So. Now that that's going, the goats should be fine. Um, I'm going to head up to the house, get me some food to eat. Um, and yeah, I'll see what else I bring you along for today. Oh yeah, that's right. Now I'm going to go, I'm going to go eat and now I'm going to go down to our concrete pad and make that nesting box stand. And the reason I wasn't able to make the nesting box stand yesterday was because we had a bunch of rain and thunder and lightning so i wasn't able to come out and do that so today that's what i'm gonna work on but first like i said i'm gonna go inside and get me something to eat all righty guys so i just went inside and ate now we're gonna go down to the concrete pad get some wood got my tape measure so we'll go down there see what all i'll need i'm probably gonna make the nesting box stand up probably about two feet and then put the nesting box on it i think a lot of people's like um premiere one and those people make them like at three or something feet but i don't want the chickens to be able to jump onto it and out of their fence. So, 
We're gonna run down there. Let's get the seat back. We're gonna run down there, see what we can find. And as y'all may know with all the projects I do, um, like my chicken coop, the goat shelter, um, and now this nesting box is all stuff that we just have available. So we're gonna start filming back up. We're gonna get everything we need at the concrete pad. Hopefully we have everything we need. What I'm, how I'm gonna make it is, it's basically just gonna be like a A-frame, or yeah, it's gonna, I'm gonna put two sides, a brace, and then a back on it. And then hopefully, if that holds it well, that will work. Um, or I may have to put a board lower just to keep it on, but I don't know. We'll see what we got first, um, because that's step number one to see what materials we got. I don't think we have any 2x4s, which I'd really like to use 2x4s, but I don't think we'll ha have any down here unless they're hidden. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get what I can find down here, and hopefully we got everything we need. With all this rain, the road back here is pretty wet. But you can see that's where all our wood is. We'll just go up there. And like I said, hopefully there's something uh, back here that we can use. So, let's see, I think I'm going to try to back in it. Or I'll just loop around. Yeah, I'll loop around. So I'll just go up to the back pasture and loop around. You can see my pod flooded over again. It's just that time of year when we're getting a whole bunch of rain. And now my pond's flooding over. All right, so, oh, measuring tape. Tape measure, measuring tape, whatever it's called. All right. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got down here. Plywood. See, that two by four kind of looks a little rotten. Not good enough. Uh, this could work. It's not quite a two by four. Here, let's see. What's that looking like? Yeah, that should, I don't know if y'all can see, but that should work. Um, let's see how long it is. Forgot to bring the tripod down with me. It's kind of tricky. Let's see how long. This board is okay, so about 10, 10 inches or 10 feet, 7 inches. So that should be plenty. Yeah, so there's our two by four. And I just want to up. So there's that. Um, I may be able to cover the whole thing. Is that should let's see and then we'll make it oh I should have measured my nesting box to see how long it was uh, we'll bring one more piece of wood up just to be safe but yeah I'll bring this piece of pine that I just did and maybe this one right here because uh, it looks pretty good if I can move it over yeah that should work for the back in the sides oh got the hiccups um all right that was easy so we got stuff down here that would easily work so i'm gonna get this stuff loaded up we're gonna head up there 
start cutting it and putting it together. Alrighty guys, so I thought while I was back here, um, I didn't quite load up the truck yet, but I thought while I was back here, I'd show you what my food forest is looking like so far. And you can see apple number, apple tree number one, this is one of the red apples. Um, it doesn't have anything on it, but it is, oh, I feel focused, good grief. Um, it's alive and doing good, it just doesn't have any leaves on it yet. Apple tree number two, this is a green apple, Granny Smith, and you can see it is bloom, or not bloom, but flower, good grief, leafed all out pretty good. Apple tree number three, uh, I think this is another red one, and you can see we got blooms starting to, let's get my hand out of the way, see if, I'm on focus, oh, whatever. You can see it's starting to leaf out. And then tree number four, it is leafed out. And it's got flowers all, all over it. And this one's the tallest. If I had to guess, it's at least maybe five and probably over five and a half feet so not quite six well yeah not quite six feet but pretty close to it but while i'm back here um i'm gonna go ahead and get some b-roll shots of this throw some music to it whoa show some of y'all the waterfalls while i get the wood loaded up and head up there All right, so we got our tape measure and our two boards here. Um, I'm gonna go to the nesting box. We'll see how long and stuff it is. Kind's playing currently. That's what all the noise is. Um, but now we'll see how long our nesting box is and how wide it is. That way, um, I know how I need to build that. So. So here it is right here. We'll just. Alright. Alright guys. So our nesting box is. Five feet long exact. But I'm going to make it a little bit longer. That way. It's easier to put it in. Hold on one second. And it is. 13 inches wide. In the widest spot. So. Now that we know all that, we'll come up here, get the circular saw, or the, I don't know what saw I'll use, whatever's easier. Um, I'll get that going and then get this set. That way the chickens turn, can start laying in the nesting box and stay under the coop. Alrighty guys, so you can see we got our five foot board here. We got 
three three footers for uh the all right so you can see these three footers will be like that i'm gonna need a brace in between those um and then we got our five foot board to go on here and put across now i just need to get one more three footer and then i'll cut those two pieces of scrap for the bracing for these Alrighty guys, so we're back down here. We gotta look again for some three foot. That could work. Yeah, I bet I could cut that in about, not quite half, but that should work right there. Came all the way back down here just for one more piece. But, ah. all right, now that that's there, Let's load up, head up, get that piece cut, and then start uh, putting it all together. All right, guys, so as you can see, we got one done, two done. So now what I'll do is I'll set these here. I'll try to see if I can prop these up and then lay our five-foot board over the top of both of these. All right, guys, so let me show you what I got, and let me tell you what i got what i did wrong so i basically got it all complete but you see i put these a little too high so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna scoot those down a little just a couple inches and then i'm gonna take this board off and then what you do is i'll flip these to the inside like i'll just spin this around um, and then I'll put my nesting box here, and it'll rest on both of these. All right, guys, down here, let's see if we can find a five-foot board kind of fast. Yeah, get up there. Get to work. Uh, this hard to do. It's a little thick, but there is a thinner side to it. Heavy. So you can see it. it's like a three by three ish kind of thing no this wood is exactly a two by four or four by four so this is like in between of them so hopefully it'll work it's only gotta be five foot so i'm gonna get this loaded up and head back up all right guys it may not look pretty but it will hold that nesting box now bring it over there uh that way we can get it all set up for them Alrighty guys, so it is the next day. Um, I'm back here, kind of close to the back pasture where I'm building some forts. Uh, man kind of been working on them. So I thought I'd show you before we gotta, well, almost fell, have to head out because today we are going to be going to the lodge store since that's pretty close to us um so i will bring you along but that'll be in the next video well, i thought i'd come back here and just show you what me and caroline have been working on so you can see this one is just a little uh like a greenhouse kind of one and then up here is the one we are currently working on i've been working on it pretty hard to try to get it done but this is 
like a little log cabin type thing. You can see I dug it out some. That way, um, it's a little lower to the ground. And I may even put a piece of plywood on this and make this like a little uh, something to store stuff under it. But yeah, that's something I've been working on, on with. That's something I've been doing uh, during my free time is just chopping a bunch of trees, getting that done. Um, but yeah, so I'd come down here, share that with y'all before we have to head out. But, and tomorrow's video, I'll be finishing um, my nesting box stand. So, that's what we're going to be working on to well today but for y'all in the next video um we're gonna go to the lodge store and then on the next video i will show y'all the nesting box stand so it's kind of a con to be continued type thing so i gotta head up though so i gotta wrap up this video here for y'all make sure you like subscribe hit that little bell button Share this video with your friends and family. Y'all have a good one, and God bless.